Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Motorhome in Fun. As you can see, we're back out on the road on this lovely September morning, and we're on the road to Dorset this morning to one of our all time favourite campsites, Highlands End at West Bay. So, we're hoping to get there for about one o'clock, guys. We're left in plenty of time, so we'll have a little stop on the services on the way just to let my travel buddy sky out for a wee. So, yeah, as we get nearer, guys, we'll do the little run into the site, guys, so you all know where you're going and all that. And um, once we're set up, we'll probably do the normal thing, guys. We'll have a little wander around the site, little site tour, although we have done one before, guys, so it gets plenty of views that one does it's one of my most popular videos on YouTube so yeah we're looking forward to this week away guys we've got four nights here and we've got three nights later next week at East Fleet Farm near Weymouth so we'll catch you a bit later on the running guys so we'll see you all soon bye for now Welcome back subscribers and non-subscribers. Well, we're about three miles in at the moment, or three miles away from the campsite, I should say. So, um, yeah, we'll show you the little run-in into the campsite, guys. Have a little wander through the park with a motor home, and then we'll get ourselves set up, as I say, and um, do the little site walk again. And um, can I ask you guys to give me a thumbs up? and maybe subscribe if you're not subscribed already and um, give me some comments and that'd be great guys so we've got lots of content coming in the next week or so and some lovely drone flights hopefully so it should be a good week's holiday so we'll catch you again in a minute bye for now See, we're just now a little bit earlier. We are we're about 30 minutes early at the moment, guys. But um, the barrier should just lift up for us. It's got our reg number, so. And then we got to proceed to find a pitch. Last time we were on pitch number five. And here we are. We're just going to take a right turn. So this is Highlands End. road up to the campsite and you got Martin's bar here you got a leisure centre swimming pool you got a spa shop so it's um it's a pretty good site guys so it's well worth a visit as I say it's my second time here thoroughly enjoyed it exactly this time two years ago And well, the weather looks pretty good as well. got Martin's bar ahead and the spa shop on the right well, 
this is the barrier so we'll see if it recognises us it did as you can see we've got static caravans here as well there are some glamping pods and various other accommodation but um, we're on the touring park we've got a bit of a one-way system way guys this is where we were before as I say we're on pitch five before so we're quite happy with that pitch we'll see what's available I think we're gonna be on pitch number four this time Looks good to me. We should be nicely level, guys. These are solid concrete bases, so. We'll just straighten the wheels up so no levels needed right we're here let's get ourselves set up and we'll show you around shortly see you all soon right welcome back everybody as you can see we're all set up now at Highlands End at West Bay so as you can see we've got the canopy out today lovely day we got the mat out got a chair table to dine at we've got the motor home in fun flag out so we'll just take your walk around the pitch guys say this is gravel with a hard stand in so perfectly level no level as needed we we'll just filled up with water guys we made that mistake last time we come we forgot we'd got a service pitch so as you can see we're connected to the electric and we've got the wastewater pipe set up as well so no need for the waste master on this trip I've just got the short five meter lead which is all good there's your tap and you got the electric point behind so we'll just have a bit of a wander around so there we are we're under the canopy there guys we're just gonna have a bit of lunch in a minute inside i'll just show you inside we've got sky there's my travel buddy she's in waiting to get down the beach huh? and you've got darling we've got the tv set up we've got a good few channels here i've not checked my smarty wi-fi but if i remember from last time it was a pretty decent signal so hopefully we shouldn't have a problem uploading we've got a little usb fan on at the moment in the corner i have got an electric one with me as well 
and all important the kettle is on so yeah all good guys so we'll have a little bit of lunch and we'll have a little wander around the site after so we'll see you in about 30 minutes or so bye for now right welcome back everybody as you can see we're out and about on our little site wander so we're gonna head to the beginning where we come in first that'll be around the martin's bar and the spa area of the shop and that and um, the leisure facilities so we'll head up there now guys as i say we have done a little site walk before two years ago so if you want to go back and compare that one with this one free free to do so right welcome back everybody so this is the start of the site basically so we're gonna take a wander if we go around to the left first we've got martin's bar in front as you can see a little bit of a car park here and down the back of here you've got all the outside dining and seating outside if you want to have a drink outside in the evening you got a little kiddies play area as well so there's a play area outside dining seats and Martin's bar and restaurant right so we're coming out of that little car park area and you got the park reception on your right obviously we had a email beforehand telling us what to do and then you got the spa shop down the bottom here right so that is a well stocked shop spa ice creams all your provisions etc no dogs allowed Please use the tie-up points outside the shop. We'll just have a little wander in for you guys. So this is a shop. You are? Yeah, on YouTube later. Right, you got some leaflets there, local guides of the area. What to go and see and that, so pick up some leaflets. Right, so as you see, that was well stocked. You got a toilet there in front, guys. That's if you come out of Martin's Bar and need the toilet desperate. So that's Martin's Bar and Restaurant in front. Just have a quick look in. There we go. I think you have to book for Sunday dinner. 
but very nice. I'm not too sure if, oh it says no dogs inside, dogs outside. So then in front of us guys, don't know whether you can pick it up but um, it's an old fire engine in there guys. That is in the soft play area for the children. Can't really see at the moment. Don't know whether we can get in or not. Have a quick look. So there is the fire engine. Leyland pump escape. Here we go again, Bridport Fire Brigade. Bit of history in there, in the building. So the soft play is through there for the younger kids. And so you got Martin's Bar and Restaurant in here, guys. And this is your outdoor area <laughs> right a little bit of a adventure playground for the children Let's see if we can wander around the rear. Inside there guys, we've got the swimming pool. That's a leisure village in there. Pretty certain you have to pre-book to go in there or tell them you're going in. So that is the swimming pool and gymnasium. To the left here, you've got the Shepherd Down Pitch and Put Golf. So in front there, guys, you got the Pitch and Put golf I will show you mobile signal shouldn't really be a problem guys has a few telephone masks on there so and this is the pitch and put no dogs dogs to exercise on there Right, we'll head back through and we'll just show you the timber log cabins next, I believe. So this is a car park at the back of the swimming pool. You've got some electric vehicle charging points, disabled as well, parking. And then you've got the full leisure centre there fitness gymnasium sauna etc so we'll head further round as you can see lots of static caravans about some of these are private and a good few of these are rentals as well so this is a perfect base for exploring Dorset 
Lyme Regis, Charmouth, Sidmouth, even further along to Weymouth. And that's a, it's a stunning coastline. Right. Lots of noisy dogs about today. So this is some sort of walk, guys. Just have a quick look. Right. This is the footpath to West Bay. If you don't want to take the coastal path, I believe this takes about 15 minutes. Right, I believe we've missed the entrance to the log cabins, so if we do that later guys, we do. If not, head back to the video previously filmed here. And I'm sure we went round there before. So we're heading back towards the touring part now. We're gonna come up to the facilities soon guys, so we'll see if we can hook Sky up somewhere, if not, We'll do that last of all, put Sky back in the motorhome and have a little wander. Some right, so coming up, we take a left into the touring park. Hello there. So you've got the recycling and refuge point at the rear of the facilities building. There you go guys, all your waste bins. And this is the facilities building. You got your indoor washing up sinks. So there's your washing up sinks. You got a chemical toilet point. Standard one, in, inside one, guys. park map you've got some outdoor washing sinks more washing sinks and you've got the doggy shower just here right we'll see if we can tie sky up and go inside Right, you stay there a minute. You've got disabled in front, radar key, and then we've got the men's. So these are the showers. Some wash hand basins all down the side here. Hair dryer. Some more sinks. And these are the toilets. Right, we'll head back out. I 
and we've got the men's urinals with a lovely map of the site in front. Obviously you've got the ladies facilities on the opposite side. And there we have Sky waiting patiently. Right, you got a couple of electric vehicle charging points there as well. Howdy mate. Hello there. Right, so these are more pitches as you see these are gravel pitches with a little grassy area we'll just take you down this way because the dog walk is here guys nice little dog walk probably won't do it today but um, we're just gonna show you the views from over let's have a quick look Right, there's a stunning views. That is EP down there. You got a lovely little touring site there. And that coastal path takes you all the way to Sea Town, which we'll probably do again on Sunday. Right, so this is the coastal path and dog exercising field. So we'll just have a little wander. Not too sure whether we'll go down the field, guys. We'll pick that up in another vlog. Right, so this is the dog exercise field, guys. So it's a nice little walk up and down a bit. You got a dog bin there as well. And that takes you down to EP Beach as well. As I say, coastal walk all the way to Sea Town, up some very steep hills. Make you puff and pant, guys, but. Um, it's worth it when you get there. So we're hoping to get the drone up and flying around there soon. Right, let's go back up. Obviously you can approach that from the other end of the site. Dogs on leads at all times. Right, so we're just going to head to the top camp field now, which is mainly grass, I think, grass pitches. It's 
South Rye Acres. I'd say it's pretty full for September. Obviously we're out of season now with the schools gone back. You got some more recycle points there. And these are the grass pitches. We'll just have a bit of a wander and we'll show you the other way to the dog walk and coastal path. Right, so we'll just head through this little gap. So we've still got the dog exercise field in front. Which you can access at this top here. And also take the walk down to the beach and the coastal path. Right, so there's a dog exercise field and head that way down to the beach. This is the coastal path over here guys. Paragliding sometimes from here as well. So this would probably be a good takeoff point for the drone. Right, we'll keep walking along and I think further along we've got the little shepherd's huts and the tent field. Right, we just head down this one. We're on the bottom road. Pitch number four we got this time. Number five was taken. Right, so just around the corner here, we've got another facilities block close to us as well, and then going to home service point. These are the closest ones to our pitch down there. So we'll just have a little look here, see if we can. Hook sky up again. Right. And we got some more washing up sinks, your chemical disposal point. There we go. Washing up sinks again, laundry, so you got a couple of sinks there, three sinks, washing machines, tumble dryers, a little freezer to use, you got a couple of irons and ironing board. Right, that's the laundry. 
and there you got the ladies and a few more sinks all right let's see if we can hook sky up quite looking the men's couple of hand wash basins there's your toilets men's urinals more toilets and hand basins baby changing room by the way the shop is open daily as you can see there and we've got the showers in here and some more hand basins so these are the showers guys oops nearly fell down the step So those are off the heating system, the water system. Machine there if you need it, guys. Right, I'll just show you the motorhome service point now. Sky waiting again. Right, it's around the corner. We've got the motorhome service pitch. Where well, you got drinking water and your waste disposable drive over great. So that's the service point. And a few general bins. Right, and just down here you got the little shepherd camping field so these are basically if you like it wild camping camper vans there and a couple of normal tents pitched we won't go any further right so that about winds our little tour up of Highlands End campsite at West Bay Bridgeport Dorset so we'll just head back to the motorhome guys now so don't forget Right, as I was saying, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, some comments, and maybe subscribe to the channel, guys. And we'll see you on the next one very soon. So, bye for now.